right? Excuse me. Independent living center executive director Denise Figueroa. Your local Thank news you, leader. Um, well, it is Valentine's Day. We are so excited for this bill signing today. Um, uh, I just want to welcome all of you to the Independent Living Center of the Hudson Valley. We, um, afterwards, if anybody wants a tour, <laughs> we can give you a tour. But uh, it really is just a wonderful event here today. Uh, we are, we've been waiting for a long time uh, for this to come, and uh, we're so happy that we now will have an Office of Chief Disability Officer um, in the Executive Chamber. Uh, an office that's going to represent disability issues across the board um, and uh, a voice in our government and and so I really just thank all of you for being here um, I'm I have the honor of introducing our governor uh, and I will turn this over to Governor Kathy Bookwhite so thank you governor welcome Marks come up this way. There they are. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can see them down here. I was too distracted by everything that's going on in this wonderful room today, and this is an historic day. It truly, truly is, and I'll call this also a day that is long overdue. And to all the advocates who never gave up the fight to recognize that the disability community, and it is vast, it is influential, and it has a voice that needs to be heard that finally we have an office yes we can clap for that because i'm pretty good and i'm talking about uh someone who is no stranger and is so uh, i'm getting more compliments from selecting kim hill than anything i've done as governor so i'm feeling good about that uh, uh, but, but first of all to Denise Figueroa, and I want to thank you for being such an incredible champion for people who just sometimes just need a little bit of hope and people who believe in them and believe in their possibilities. And that's what this is all about is uh, in your role as executive director of the Independent Living Center of the Hudson Valley. And I also want to thank the champions that we have in elective office. And you have many, many friends and allies. And uh, that would be Senator James Kufis, who you'll be hearing from the sponsor of this bill. Uh, Phil Steck is the assembly member who's also the assembly sponsor, not able to be here, something came up that he just could not get out of, but uh, uh, he sends his appreciation to everyone involved in this in this long journey, uh, as well as uh, John Mannion, the uh, chair in the Senate of the Committee on Disabilities, and John Mannion, and Tom Avenatti, our chair of the Committee on People with Disabilities in the Assembly, so thank you very much, I don't think he's on his way, uh, John McDonald, our local assembly member, and of course our mayor, of Troy Pat Madden and I just saw as I was coming up here the, the whistling kettle we've had a cup of tea there a few times and so you don't know this but when I'm not sitting in Albany I'm probably flipping around Troy uh, uh, I love the restaurants uh, don't mind the burgers that slide and dirty and walk in the streets it's a wonderful vibrant community and I just love coming here and this and having this center in this place is an important statement that this is an integration with the downtown community that is really coming back and so the symbol of the symbolism of that is, is truly powerful uh, you know we think about the fact that New York State has not had uh, this position in a permanent way and that is an oversight and a, and a decision that is now being corrected but it just has been inexcusable when you think about that I mean why not and I also hold ourselves to very high standards here in the state of New York Whenever I think about a single policy, my first question is, is anybody else doing this? What's going on in other states? I mean, how do we measure up in terms of our metrics and how we're serving our people? Because we are the empire state, and every area we touch has to be a model for the rest of the nation. We should always be the best. And, and this is an area that I have examined closely and when you think about the fact that our employment levels, for example, are not what they should be, look at the fact that 35% of people with disabilities, 18 to 60 year old, 18 to 64 living in New York State, are employed, 35% employed. That puts us at 38th 
out of 50 in the nation. That's not a category specific that I'm real proud of. So I know we can do better there. We also have to talk about the fact that 30% of individuals live in poverty, another area that needs an intense focus. That should not be a statistic that exists after several more years of focus on this. I wanna make sure that we are among the best in serving these communities as well. And people living with physical, developmental, psychiatric, sensory, mobility disabilities, they have had to endure a lot. And housing issues, you know, the complication behind getting something as simple as a home that meets your needs. And I'm investing with the support of the legislature, hopefully in a few more weeks, we'll get this through the legislature, a $25 billion affordable housing plan and it's in that tens of thousands of units for supportive housing. We need to make sure that we are meeting people where they are. They need to have not just a roof over their head, but a roof over their head and services sometimes that also allow them to excel in that environment. That is what I'm pushing for as well. I also, I also having spent time in Congress as a member of the Armed Services Committee and on that journey, it took me to places like Afghanistan, but really had me be embedded with the individuals once they returned from that service. And so many individuals went there, uh, young people full of life who, because of a deployment or multiple deployments, they return either with physical or psychological disabilities that it, we as a nation are responsible for helping them heal from. That is our obligation as fellow Americans. We need to make sure that we're providing housing for uh, veterans and, and more uh, supportive services as well as employment for our veterans with disabilities as well. They have unique needs. They've been through a unique experience. We need to recognize that. Again, meeting people where they are with their life's experiences. And so how do we do that? Well, we get a superstar. We find someone whose passion and reputation is stellar. Uh, nationally known, and when I say I'm putting people in place, I want them to be national leaders. I want the rest of the country, when they have a conference on how we deal with the disability community overall and how we meet people and meet their needs, I want them to say that, let's look to New York, because New York is making a difference. And very quickly, those of you who are getting to know me, I'm the most impatient person you're ever going to meet. Uh, I'm like, this should have been done yesterday. Uh, and I have a person at my side who's gonna do that, and that is Tim Hill. Tim is going to be our state's very first chief disability officer, our chief disability officer. We uh, know her because she served for the New York State Assembly, our standing committee on people with disabilities. She serves as the director of the Assembly Task Force as well. Uh, and she just has that demeanor and those relationships that are already existing that are gonna truly benefit our, us uh, as we speak. There's other areas we can do as, as well as I've now set the bar very high for you, Tim. Very high. We have no doubt that you'll meet this. But also we've made other investments in high need, high need areas. A uh, $240 million increase in investing in schools for children with disabilities. Also, I want New York State to be a model employer. I've looked at other states. I've talked to governors. I've talked to lieutenant governors in the seven years I was lieutenant governor. And I know that there's others who are we're breaking territory that we've not yet accomplished. Let's see what's out there. Let's be the model that other states look to, and I believe we can get there. And also what I'm going to be doing in our budget is authorizing state agencies to designate over 12, up to 1,200 positions to be filled by qualified people with disabilities. Let's give people a real shot, a meaningful chance. And that'll be include up to 500 positions for people who are qualified wartime veterans with disabilities. Uh, you're also going to be coordinating our, our response to the, imp the implementation of American with Disabilities. You'll also be chairing the most integrated setting coordinating council. Uh, I'm going to fill up your days uh, and, uh, and make sure that we're not only compliant with Olmstead, but also, as I said, becomes a model. And that is what I'm very excited about. We're also going to expand New York State's Commission for the Blind Business Enterprise Program. Uh, we're going to take care of that. We have more work to do there, and I and I really do believe in tremendous potential there. So, so all New Yorkers deserve the best. They deserve the best representation in government. They need a champion who is directly in the governor's office, part of the chamber. 
for the direct accountability, which I think is important, I know is important, and because the buck ultimately stops at me, that I will be judged by not just what I do, but by the, how all of us can respond to the needs of this community, which as I said, have been overlooked for far, far too long. And Tim, you are the person I have trusted, uh, high confidence, and we're gonna be working very closely together. And so bring me ideas, bring me the innovation, bring me the ideas that come out of this community, but also what's happening in other states and indeed around the world. We need to be the best. Whatever we be, do, we have to be the best because we are the Empire State, our motto is Excelsior, and that is what I'm looking to aspire to. So ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you Kim Hill, our very first Chief Disability Officer. <laughs> I also want to say that I'm so lucky to see so many friendly faces in this room. Lots of advocates that I've worked for and worked with for the last 24 years on disability issues across the board from the legislative side and Senator Skoufis, Senator McDonald, and I know some of the staff that I've not wanted to be here and shouldn't even be approaching. Um, but we have a lot of champions in the legislature, so we're going to work so well together and continue our good work. Um, today's a day that we need to celebrate the sign of Nostra. We've worked lots of years to get to this place. Then we get to go to work, and we've got a lot of issues. We've got home care, they're paid for home care, housing, education, employment, more ADA access, and improving access to all types of programs and services for all the state agencies that we're going to be working with. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I do hope, and it was in my comments as well, to say that I hope New York becomes a leader in everything in the improving the lives of people with disabilities. I hope we can become a model. So I'm just excited to watch this bill sign happen and then get to work. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kim, and at this time we'd like to hear from Senator Skoufis, uh, and thank you for being such an incredible champion on this issue for us. Thank you. Thank you, Governor, and I'm really delighted to join you and everyone in this room, a lot of friends in this room from the Hudson Valley where I am and elsewhere, and I've been at this for five or six years. I remember meeting with Doug Hovey in a coffee shop when I uh, took on the task force for people with disabilities in the assembly and learning about this issue. I, many of you have been at this for longer than five or six years. It turns out all we needed was a new governor who cared about people with disabilities. And, and let me say that Governor Hochul in about six short months has done more for the disability community than the prior 11 years that we saw. And so I thank you, Governor Hochul, for your leadership on this and so many other issues. I, you know, every major decision that's gonna come out of New York State government from henceforth, because of Kim Hill, and certainly because of what the governor has done today in signing this bill, uh, those decisions will be made with the disability community front of mind. And you can clap for that, absolutely. And I can't say enough about Kim Hill. She is not an exceptional candidate for this job to be the first chief disability officer. She is the perfect candidate 
for this job to be the first chief disability officer. And I may be speaking out of school. Uh, I know somewhere in this room, Jihoon Kim is standing around. And I know he, at the staff level within the governor's office, worked very hard on this. I want to thank him for his efforts. You know, he, uh, he made probably the best decision uh, that he could have made in joining this administration after being uh, out of the chamber and out of chamber government for some time. Uh, the only bad decision he's ever made was leaving my district as a constituent a number of years ago. But I'm so thrilled he's in the administration to help make this happen. So thank you, Jihoon, wherever you're standing out there in the back. And certainly my partners in, in government, Senator Mannion, the assembly members who are here, my friends, uh, this is many years in the making. I am humbled to have been a very small part uh, of getting this bill uh, to where it is. And uh, truly, truly, deeply, Thank you, Governor Hochul, uh, for making this a reality. This will positively impact. We talk about in government, we want to impact the lives of our constituents. We want to make a difference in the lives of our constituents. This, with a stroke of a pen, this new law, this new position will positively impact not thousands, but millions of New Yorkers, not just this year, not just next year, forever moving forward. Thank you, Governor Hochul. I guess next we'll go to the, uh, hi, is Bill Sex has not arrived? He's here, we got live jump out. All right, so let's, uh, let's get over and find a bill. All Thank you. 